We're going to show you how to jumpstart a car with a battery booster. You have vehicles that refuse to start, and you detected a battery problem? You will see in this video the safest and most efficient method used by professionals to jumpstart it. Safety warnings. Keep flames away from a battery, no cigarette. Don't attempt to jumpstart a battery that is frozen, cracked or damaged in any way. There is a risk of explosion. Consult the user manual of the vehicle to start. Step 1. Take your battery booster and check that it is fully charged. Step 2. Always put your booster on the floor, not on the bonnet of the car. You will therefore need a booster with cables long enough to be able to do that. Step 3. The car ignition must be turned off. Check that all electrical devices, such as radio or lights, are switched off in the car. Step 4. Locate your battery and find the positive terminal indicated by a plus and the negative terminal of the battery or the earth. In case of any doubt, read the car user's manual. In most vehicles, the battery will be located under the bonnet, but some vehicles have their battery in the boot or under the seat. Step 5. Connect your booster. First, place the red clamp on the positive terminal of the battery. Secondly, place the blue clamp on the earth, which means that any metallic surface on the engine block that is not painted. Step 6. Start the vehicle's engine. Turn on the ignition and start the engine. Don't try to start the engine for more than 10 seconds. If this is not working, disconnect the booster and try again 3 minutes later. Once the engine is running, step on the accelerator in order to recharge faster the battery of your vehicle and your booster that is still connected. You can check if the alternator of your vehicle is working well through a voltmeter on the booster. Engine running, check the voltage of your booster. If you get 14.4 volts, it means the alternator is working okay. Step 7. Disconnect the booster. First, disconnect the blue clamp. Secondly, disconnect the red clamp and put the cables back on their support. Make sure you put the booster back on charge after use.